Why is a strong pharmaceutical system important for maternal, newborn, and child health? The aim of this video is to give a general overview of a pharmaceutical system and explain why it is important to consider all of its components to sustainably improve maternal, newborn, and child health, or MNCH, through preventing deaths and reducing the amount of disease for these populations. Many medical products needed to prevent newborn, child, and maternal deaths are well-known, inexpensive, and safe. However, MNCH products are often inaccessible due to bottlenecks in the pharmaceutical system, such as poor governance, inadequate human resources, insufficient data, suboptimal financing, under-resourced regulatory agencies, and weak supply chain systems. Additionally, MNCH medical products may be of poor quality, prescribed, dispensed, and used incorrectly. Strengthening the pharmaceutical system will help solve these bottlenecks. A pharmaceutical system consists of all structures, people, resources, processes, and interactions within the broader health system that aim to ensure equitable and timely access to and appropriate use of safe, effective, affordable, quality-assured medical products and related services, such as interactions within pharmacies or with prescribers in the community, to improve health outcomes. A strong and resilient pharmaceutical system has effective leadership, governance, and regulation, a skilled workforce and well-run organizations, reliable product and patient information, adequate and sustained financing, available quality-assured medical products and technologies, quality service delivery. Let's take a look at each component. Policies and legal frameworks, including essential medicines policies and essential medicines lists, regulate all medical products and are further supported by standards and guidelines, all of which should be regularly updated to include MNCH products. The need for clear policies, robust legislation, and sound management practices supported by good governance is evident in regulatory systems. Strong country regulatory systems are essential for MNCH products since they are often obtained through government procurements and not by donors through global procurement agencies with quality assurance systems such as the Global Fund. Regulatory agencies also need to ensure products keep meeting standards once they are on the market through monitoring product quality such as post-market surveillance as well as monitoring patient safety and efficacy known as pharmacovigilance. Sufficient numbers of skilled workers at all levels of the health system are needed to ensure access to and appropriate use of medical products. Workers should have continuous training to understand how to use new MNCH medical products. If countries consider using community health workers to effectively expand access to MNCH medical products, their capacity should be built to manage and use the products appropriately. Lack of accurate data on stock levels, consumption, and use contributes to inappropriate rationing medical products and stockouts. The lack of information systems affects identifying trends in service delivery and medicine use, as well as demand forecasting and health facilities, particularly those lower level facilities in charge of ordering commodities for the community health workers in their catchment areas. Insufficient public funding at the national level and the absence of a global mechanism to fund MNCH commodities can result in limited access to MNCH medical products. Universal health coverage and inclusion of packages of essential MNCH medical products and national health insurance or other financial protection schemes present opportunities to consider pharmaceutical system strengthening for improved MNCH outcomes. MNCH medical products may be unavailable in health facilities due to inadequate planning or breakdowns in the supply chain. At times, equipment and supplies to administer MNCH medicines are overlooked. For example, syringes for injecting magnesium sulfate to treat preeclampsia and eclampsia. Additionally, medical products require specific storage conditions that may affect whether they are available in a facility and stored properly such that they maintain their quality and effectiveness. For example, oxytocin is used to treat postpartum hemorrhage and requires cold chain storage and functioning refrigerators. Emergency response plans should include supply chain considerations for MNCH essential products, such as redistribution or prepositioning key MNCH supplies. Product availability is insufficient if proper pharmaceutical services are weak or non-existent. 
counseling caregivers on the appropriate use of products helps improve children's outcomes and mitigate the unintended consequences, such as antimicrobial resistance. A strong, prepared, and resilient pharmaceutical system is essential to ensuring sustainable access to and appropriate use of safe, effective, affordable, quality-assured medical products and related services for maternal, newborn, and child health. The pharmaceutical system includes but goes beyond the supply chain to affect the availability of medical products, as well as their regulation to assure quality, safety, and efficacy, and pharmacy practices and other related pharmaceutical services to promote their appropriate use. When strengthening the pharmaceutical system, it is important to consider all components and use multiple interventions at different levels to address the complex factors that pose barriers to ensuring access to and appropriate use of quality assured medical products and related services. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested to learn more, please sign up for the Pharmaceutical System Strengthening PSS 101 e-learning course.